What's going on, people? It's Hajimoto, and we're gonna talk about another Discovery Scope. This time, the HD 4 to 20 by 50 millimeter first focal plane scope. My plan is today is, you see it's, it's currently mounted on my Hooban 22 Cal. That's what I'm gonna use it on when I do the review for this scope. So you'll be seeing as I shoot it, I'll show some video footage like that. When I'm actually shooting through it, you'll see how she, how she tracks and zooms in and so forth. I also plan on taking this and locking it into a fixture. When you get the box in the box, it's perfectly packaged and it's got styrofoam at each end to keep it suspended. It's in a bag. Inside the bag is silica gel. There's a owner's manual that gives all the details about the scope itself and how you can adjust and lock your turrets. Zeroing the turrets goes through that whole process, how you can zero them. It also comes with a neat little chamois. I have the sunshade that comes with it that was in the box that's on here now. It also comes with the bungee style uh, lens caps that goes over it and snaps on. And as you can see, it looks perfectly balanced on a, on a rifle like this. So I plan on throwing it through its paces. The scope cam footage that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the Hajimoto side shot which is going to give me the ability to have the highest resolution video through the scope um, and that'll be uh, shared with you. You'll see that little like this right here. The reticle in this thing's pretty cool. It's called the DLTW reticle. I really like it. It's got the typical cross here but it's got this graduated Christmas tree on the bottom that I really really like. On a first focal plane scope, when you put that thing at four, the, the reticle is so fine, it's hard to see. Not in this one, it's crystal clear. You'll see that right here, you'll see it. You can see that thing, it's clear. You can actually make it out, it's nice. We've got a 30 millimeter tube. The uh, side focus on it, it is an illuminated reticle on it. There's 335 millimeters long overall. It has 60 MOA of adjustment on the turrets. And this thing's rated for a 338 caliber rifle. So recoil and show forth. It's on a PCP, so it's gonna be like shooting a 22 with this thing. So let's get it started. We're gonna run it through its paces, lock this thing in a fixture, give the turrets a turn. I hope I make you proud, Joe. Take it easy, guys. Here we go. Focused in on four power. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Up and then back down to show that she'll track. Zero. Perfect track. Okay, we're aimed at that little black dot in the middle of the board. We're going to start zooming in. To try to make sure it stays clear throughout the magnification. And also that we do not change our point of aim. That's 20 power. Checking the focus. Yep, she was crystal clear. Okay, to demonstrate tracking, I'm just going to randomly turn the turrets and then we're going to put them back on zero and see where, how we, where we end up.
Zero. Vertically zero. And the horizontal coming into line. There we go. Right back on center again. Well, there we go, guys. You saw it yourself. You saw some of the footage down when we were zooming in on the target and we were showing the graduation of the zoom, the clarity of that thing. Even at the lowest setting, look how crisp the reticle is. Very impressive glass, nicely made, 50 millimeter objective lens, 30 millimeter tube, built nice. When you do the zoom on the thing, it's nice and crisp. It doesn't have a sloppiness to it. It's not clunky. It's, it's nice. The illumination works really well, and you saw the focus on it. You can't argue with video. That's live. You're seeing what it is. There's no trickery there. You saw it. Got any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I answer any questions, providing they're respectful, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You shoot safe, and thanks for stopping by.